glad we released that panther for Spike to play with. Twilight, help! I distracted the panther, so he should be safe for now. Dear Twilight, I reluctantly write to you about your official duties as Princess of the Night. As princess, you must be present for an upcoming wedding, and I have also arranged to keep your annoying friends busy. Fluttershy, I would like you to draw a maze in one minute that takes two minutes to solve. I can do that. I'll make it a circle. Pinkie Pie, your dialogue will be cut for time. It's all I've ever- Applejack, you will be writing all vows and speeches. Well, ho down, Apple Barbecue. Rainbow Dash, just sit perfectly still and try not to break anything. Yes! Rarity. You will be responsible for literally everything else in the ceremony. And as for you, Twilight, though tradition demands you be present, I expect to see as little of you as possible. With dread but cautious optimism, Princess Celestia. But this is just paper. I wanted a present. Oh, uh, maybe she put some stickers or a gift card in here. P.S. You will be attending the wedding of Princess Cadence, Not Evil Good Pony, and... <gasps> My brother? Your brother's Francis Sparkle? I didn't know you were related to the lead singer of pop band BBBFF. Ugh, you know I don't like to brag. Francis said when he left with his band that he would come back for me. That's the only reason I allowed him to leave. Yeah, Twilight, it's majorly uncool that you didn't find out about this sooner. You're so smart and pretty and a way better match for Francis. You're so beautiful, Twilight. I wish we could be together. Sandwich, I told you I don't have feelings for you. I'm holding out for Mr. Wright, and that's my brother. Um, Twilight, you're even scaring me. I'm sorry. It's just that I always thought I was the one for my brother. I'm in love with him. We're not biologically related. Oh! Uh -huh. He and I were raised side by side, but he was actually adopted, so technically it's okay that I'm also attracted to him. that we shared the moments that you cared I gave you my heart and then you turned around we went streaking in the park skinny dipping after dark I gave you my heart and then you turned around depressing melodies suppressing fantasy I gave you my heart and then you turned Always wanted my own brother and then he showed up at our door I didn't question where he came from I wasn't lonely anymore soon we did everything together he taught me how to fly a kite I watched him grow into a stallion I watched him sleep in bed at night it's not creepy but then he signed that record label a cute quintet of boyish sound But now that everybody loves him I'm just a face out in the crowd I threw myself into my studies To have the world in my control I vaporize the competition Nobody understands me It's not Forever. Since we're, we're not related, related, it'll be okay. So different now from what it seemed. Now life has killed the dream I dreamed. That was the creepiest thing I've ever heard. 
While Twilight was singing that song, I thought of a new word. It's called blarf. I don't know what it means yet, but I know it's gonna be big. Hey, look who's finally invited. Victory for Spike the Dragon. I wonder if I'll be a prominent part of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be a sourpuss, Sour Patch? I'm just thinking about BBBFF. Ben, 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 Francis, and Francis are planning their 2013 desperation tour, so I'll probably see my brother even less than before. Come on now. You're his sister. You can always be a groupie. Or I could be his legally binded groupie for life. This force field prevents all dragons from entering Canterlot. <laughs> What's with all the multiracial guards? It's important to demonstrate to kids that both blacks and whites can be subservient to our white demigod. I hope we don't have to wait in the line. You do, but I have a fast pass. I'm the princess of the night. You've got me stomping mad, Francis. Twily! I haven't seen you since the Bro of Bash. How's my favorite sibling? How dare you expect a bro hoof when you're getting married without my permission? Sorry, Twily. Things have been totally gnarly around here. And I mean the bad kind of gnarly, where things are gnarled. Yeah, but I don't care about your problems. There's no excuse. Sorry I wicked bailed on you, Twy Twy. I've been too busy shredding waves and eating corn dogs. I haven't even had time to read all those pink, flowery scented letters you keep sending me. I hope the guards didn't give you any trouble. Since this wedding is so important, the military is enforcing a strict friend zone. I know we've gotten distant lately. It seems like the only times I see you anymore are through ghostly images of your disembodied head. How could you think it's okay to go off and start your own family? Don't you know that you're supposed to be my family? Hey, you're my little sister. That's why I want you to be a big part of my wedding. Because I love you the way all brothers love their little sisters. You want me to be a big part of your wedding? Well, yeah. I accept. But when we get rid of this other mare, we'll have to make it look like an accident. Who even is this Cadence not evil good pony? Cadence is a world peace advocate, an organ donor, a wildlife conservationist, a children's book author, and the freely elected leader of her own country. Francis, I told you I don't like to brag. Hi there! I will destroy you and steal your fiance. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh huh. I'm so glad we're all together now. My little unicorn sister, who I love in a completely platonic way, and my beautiful alicorn bride, who I love with burning romantic passion. Now, you two get bonding. I insist. Don't worry, Spike. We'll adopt you. Hiya, Princess. Please, you can just call me Cadence. Hiya, Princess, 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 Princess. I whipped up some special treats just for you. Oh, good. I thought I told you I'm allergic to apples. Sure did. I ignore things that challenge me. Enjoy all those apple tarts. I know how you love apples. Apples, 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 apples. <gasps> and when she looks at me, it's like she thinks I'm not special. Oh, I'll be so much happier when she's gone for good. Wait, what? Is she talking about me? Your Highness! Let me start by saying that you and Francis Sparkle will have many, many beautiful babies. Okay, is my dress ready? Oh, right, the dress. It's made entirely of spider silk and stronger than Kevlar, but thinner than filament. <laughs> well, it doesn't really look like a wedding dress. I think it's lovely. Me too! I like pants! Just fix the dress, okay? Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Stupid. So wish. Oh, hi, sister. I've been looking everywhere for. This is actually a bad time. Oh, okay. 
Bet I can guess what you're all thinking. Cadence is an evil shapeshifter queen who's trying to feast on my brother's love. Huh? We're so proud. Spike, dreams are for winners. Cadence seems perfectly normal. I'm sure you're just projecting your flaws. Rarity, she rejected your dress. Well, of course she did. And she was very gracious about my blatant insanity. Applejack, did you see the way she kicked that baby in the face? Well, I don't remember that, but I take your word for it. And I saw her painting blood runes in the castle courtyard. I thought it was awfully sweet of her to help me with that. Rainbow Dash, you must have noticed her devil horns and bad breath. Whoa, what are these weird thingies on my back? Good news, Twilight. Cadence is going to become our seventh official cast member. Don't you get it? You're all just pawns in one of her sick mind games. She'll destroy you all to fulfill her own selfish desires. Sugar Cube, you're talking crazier than a rattlesnake in a spelling bee. Mm -hmm. I'm the princess of the night and I always get what I want! Twily! Look, Twily, it's shiny! Your favorite! Huh? Twily's sad! We need to talk. I secretly have feelings for- Hello? No, oh, uh, hi, Corndog! Look who crawled out of her coffin! Could I speak to you for a moment, dear? I'm gonna get laid! Twilight and her friends are all really weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're radical! No, her friends are all one-dimensional caricatures and it's starting to rub off on you. That's not true. You're wearing an outfit made of corn dogs. You know how much I love corn dogs! What? Ever since Twilight got here, yeah. you've been acting like some poorly written gag character. What's going on now? Are you hurt? Did she do this? <laughs> Cadence is evil! Twilight? Oh, Twilight, do you want to hang out? Oh, uh, okay, maybe later. Everyone pay attention to me. I think Cadence is... What are you... Oh, I've got one. What about nay yes to distress? Hey, Twilight, we're thinking of different puns for the episode title. You're thinking of puns? Without me? But girls! For example, oh brother, where art vows? What about horse-drawn marriage? Or put out to pastor? Or significant brother? Maybe we can just kind of divide it into parts and use them all. Dash, what you smoking, girl? Two half and two <laughs> I would have said fully matripony. Oh, Staircase, you're my only friend. Yes, I love my brother. Soccer bopper, soccer bopper, you can sock all day and bop all night. Soccer bopper, soccer bopper, more fun than a pillow fight. Blow them up, put your hand inside, get ready to have the time of your life. Soccer bopper, soccer bopper, more soccer bopper, more fun than, more fun a, than pillow a pillow fight. fight by Big Time Toys. Welcome, citizens of Equestria, to the humble wedding of Princess Cadence and Francis Sparkle. Rather than having an extravagant wedding, Cadence has donated the wedding budget to Cancer Research. And now, Francis will complete the ceremony by doing a triple kickflip off of this skateboard. Hey, where did my skateboard go? I stole your skateboard and I'm gonna ruin your wedding. You won't be grinding anything tonight. Don't worry, I've still got my Razor scooter. Maybe we should just ignore her. Stop ignoring me! Drama! She's evil! <gasps> just because she's a princess, Cadence thinks she can have whatever I want. But I know she's mean and wicked. And if I were crazy, could I do this? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> because
says I hate you. Get out! The only one worthy of my brother's love is me! I hereby decree that Francis Sparkle and Twilight Sparkle are officially married. They aren't really biologically related, so this isn't weird at all. What do you know? I threw a tantrum and everything turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. That's how we know I'm the good guy. I sure am happy to be marrying you, Twily. But what happened to that other purple princess? Oh, don't worry. I took care of her. No, please don't hurt me! You stay here. Yes, of course. I'll do anything you ask. Just leave me alone. I'll do anything. <laughs> Gee, this has been one crazy week, and yet I feel nothing. And you never will again. Cowabunga! Now this was a Blarf wedding. I can't believe Twilight's married. This is really going to change the status quo. <laughs> <laughs>